Image to video has been around for some time with Pika, Runway, Stable Video Diffusion, but now Stability AI dropped their Stable Video Diffusion 1.1, which is fine tune of their previous 1.0 model. Well, obviously, you input an image and you get video results. Is it better than the previous one? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm also gonna show you how to get it running. Oh, and remember guys, if you wanna help me out, check out the Patreon links below. That is my main source of income and how I create these videos. If you're feeling generous, thank you. I also got some extra files and stuff on there that's not available on YouTube. Oh, and did you know that the word incorrectly is spelled incorrectly in the dictionary? I'm going to be showing this in Comfy. It's not available in Automatic 11.11. It is available in a fork of Automatic 11.11. I'll show you that in a bit. But, but first off, let me just show you the Comfy stuff. So we're going to have an, a node here. The workflow is going to be available in the description. We're going to input an image, which is this one, just a random stable diffusion image. And it's going to run through these nodes in a K-sampler. And we're going to get an output that looks, well, something like this. And we're also going to check a comparison between the new model and the old model that is this one so it's a comparison here we're going to do it for a couple of images first let me show you how to get it running so again all the links are going to be in the description below this is hugging face for stability ai stable video diffusion image to vid xt 1.1 and there's not a lot of stuff you need to know but you need to know this and that is that the, this model was trained to generate 25 frames at a resolution 1024 by 576 so that's what we're going to use. You also need to know this. Well, you don't need to know this because it's set default. But if you start fiddling with the settings, it's good to know that fine tuning was performed with fixed conditioning at six frames per second and the motion bucket ID of 127. And that is not the frames per second that you can set here for the video combined. That is the frames per second that you can set here in this node here so this value here the six here and the motion bucket id 127 here these are going to be set default at this value so don't mess about with them it's just going to break your stability diffusion unless you want to you know go wild test a lot of stuff but uh this frame rate change it however you want you're going to go into files and versions here and you're going to find this one svd xd 11 save tensors you're going to click the little download button here if you're using Comfy, you're going to go into your Comfy UI, Models, Checkpoints, drop that straight in there. If you are using an Automatic 11.11 fork, like I'm going to show you in a second, you're going to go into Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion. So that's uh, the main difference there. Then you're going to take the workflow from my description. You're going to drop that into your Comfy. You're going to see half of it. You're not going to see these, these ones or this one because uh, I've just cloned basically this workflow and I did uh, another one for, for a comparison. So this is what you're going to see and you're going to select the model SVD XD. I renamed it actually to 25 frames and I set the size 1024 by 576. So rename it to whatever you need, drop an image in. In this case, I drop this in, press Q prompt and presto change yo, you get magic. Now, as I've already prepared this one here, we can actually see the difference. So I'm going to color this node for you. So the blue one here, that is the new one. And this thingamajig, the right one, the red one, that is the old stable video diffusion model. And as you can see in this example here, I would say that you, the new one is actually better, especially if you look at the car here and the tail lights, it is much, much better. And it's keeping consistency as the camera moves forward. As you can see, it's not a zoom, it's actually a movement forward of the camera. Uh, the characters and the people here, not great, uh, but that's the case in both of the models. But if you look at the brake lights on the right one, it is not fantastic and the characters and the neon lights so the sign up here to the right it's kind of mushy warping and in the new model here on the blue node it looks much more consistent and and it stays in shape first example now we're going to check the automatic 11.11 fork where you can run stable video diffusion if you hate comfy but you want to run this i haven't tested it yet so that that might be up to you guys uh, but i've been told it works forge is a fork of automatic 1111 so if you scroll down and look at this you can see well it looks basically exactly the same that's just a tip check it out this is not the guide for that that's probably in you know in a later video then we're gonna head back in here we're gonna 
check some other comparisons. I'm going to load up another image. I'm going to take, uh, let's take this uh, hamburger here. Beautiful burger. I I'm getting hungry just looking at it. I'm going to have some second dinner after this. Uh, you wouldn't notice it uh, since I'm such a lean guy, but uh, well, for some reason it works. So the blue one is the new model, the red one is the old model. We actually have a, a movement here of the background on the left one and a static hamburger on, well, the rest of the image. Uh, actually, the old model here is performing better because we're getting some sort of a rotation here of the burger, where actually looks pretty fantastic, I would say. This is amazing. And the fr French fries here in the background they are staying consistent. Everything I would say in this one stays very, very consistent. There's a little in the background here. So there's some extra movement. The lights uh, are kind of disappearing there. Uh, but just the burger and what's on the table, we're actually getting something appearing here uh, behind. Um, there's some slight warping on the salad there to the right. But apart from that, well, this is the first uh, case where I've seen where the old model performs better. I'm sure this will not be the case moving forward. Let's check the next one. So I have this image here of a floating market. It's a painted style. So I'm going to drop that in. And this is going to be a hard image, I think, to um, to work with. Because in this case, uh, we have characters or people. Um, and uh, they're not going to look very realistic once uh, this starts working, but uh, we'll see. So the image has finished now and we can see in both of the scenes that uh, well, little bolts here are keeping fairly consistent. This uh, character here is kind of being warped out. I don't think it understands it's a person and it's uh, not great in either of the scenes. Uh, I would say this is probably a tie. Just looking at left part here, I would say these little lamps here are actually keeping fairly consistent as it's a slower zoom on the left one. And something I've noticed in stable video diffusion 1.1 is that the zooms or the movements are a little bit slower, which helps in keeping consistency. And you can also see that uh, the background over here, the far, far part here is, is moving less, whereas it's moving more in, in the, the old one. So I would say, okay, I started with a tie, I would say that the new one slightly win in this one. Look at this comparison here, you can see what I talked about uh, in regards to stable video diffusion 1.1 having slower movements. You can see in the left one here moving much much slower and the right one is moving uh, much quicker. So it's easier for the, the, the new one to keep consistency. Now both of these are actually looking uh, pretty good, but uh, you can see more in the details of the stone and the left one here is, is actually pretty decent while the right one here is well it's a little more blurry so in general a little better on, on this example here i'm gonna check uh this image here of a cherry blossom tree in the garden okay so here we have quite a clear winner uh, the left one the new one is keeping the scene consistent so it's not perfect by any means however the old one it's some sort of uh a jiggly movement going on there, so not great at all. I'm going to show you this rocket launch up next. Just dropping that in and dropping that in. Well, for this scene in particular, there's some, some stuff going on, right? So we have the rocket, rocket ship, and there's the blast or, or the, the smoke coming on out from the rocket. We also have the stars in the sky here. So this is a hard picture. I think the rest of the scene here is going to be fine, but uh, let's see what uh, stable video diffusion does with the stars. Oh, and while you're here, let me remind you about my Discord where we have 7,000 enthusiastic AI art and generative AI people. Uh, we also have a weekly AI art challenge. This week is Cyberpunk Adventures. Here are some of the submissions. So we have a bar district here, future billboards, the lone figure. Looks fantastic. I'm gonna press a little star on that. I like the dystopian burgers here. That's nice. Come in and take part in the weekly challenge. So our image here has completed. Uh, the rocket ship turned out okay. The blast off and the smoke here is, well, it's consistent at least. And the right one here, it's also fairly 
good. Uh, the stars are messed up in both pictures, which is sad because I didn't test earlier where Stable Video Diffusion 1.1 performed better. So they kept the stars consistent, it didn't in my test this time. So sorry about that, but in most of the tests it has been more consistent. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with too many of these comparisons. What I've noted so far is the Stable Video Diffusion 1.1 is a little better, except in the burger case. But I don't think you need to use the older model at all. In most cases, Stable Video Diffusion 1.1 performs better. Just use a different seed, get a new generation if it doesn't perform as expected. I hope you learned something today. As always, have a good one. Oh, and uh, like and subscribe. Guys, like. Subscribe.